Hello. Today we're going to take a look at cloud data management and how you can protect your cloud workloads natively through Veeam Backup and Replication. With Veeam Backup and Replication, you can easily manage all your data in AWS and Microsoft Azure alongside all your on-premises backups like vSphere, Nutanix, Hyper-V and so on. So let's dive in and take a look at this demonstration. So we're going to take a look at how we can protect our cloud workloads natively through Veeam Backup and Replication. Now the first thing you'll notice here is our list of backup jobs and we can see that we have a traditional VMware backup job here protecting some vSphere workloads but then we also have some AWS and Microsoft Azure backup jobs or policies. Now we're able to manage these all through the Veeam Backup and Replication console. Before we dive into these, let's just see how simple it is to actually add this infrastructure into Veeam Backup and Replication. So we go to Backup Infrastructure and we can see that we have some AWS Backup Appliances and Microsoft Azure Backup Appliances. Now the great thing about Veeam products is you can use these all manage centrally through Veeam Backup and Replication or as individual standalone products to protect your cloud workloads. When we want to manage everything centrally through Veeam Backup and Replication, we simply come to Backup Infrastructure, we right click and we say Add Server. And then we're presented with all the infrastructure that we can protect, whether it's a VMware vSphere, Hyper-V, Windows or Linux physical servers through agents, or whether we want to protect Veeam Backup for AWS or Veeam Backup for Microsoft Azure. Now you don't have to already have deployed a Veeam Backup for AWS or Microsoft Azure appliance. You can do this directly from Veeam Backup and Replication. We can simply say we want to deploy a new appliance and that will run us through a wizard that will allow us to go and configure our AWS environment or our Microsoft Azure environment to protect those workloads. Once we have that configured, then we are presented with all our backup jobs, but we also have our backup repositories that are out in the public cloud. So we can see here that we have some AWS backup repositories, we have some Microsoft Azure backup repositories, and we can see that it shows us what platform these are on. If we expand this, we'll see our backups underneath here and what our individual workloads are being protected. We can also do the same with snapshots, so we can manage the AWS EC2 snapshots and also our Microsoft Azure snapshots, all from within Veeam Backup and Replication. Again, we see the different platforms. If we go back to our backup jobs, we can simply start running these and we can just in the same way that we've always been able to do in Veeam Backup and Replication, simply say, right, let's go start this job and it will run through, it will protect those workloads and it will just give us a status update. So once we've taken our backups, it's very easy to actually perform a restore as well. So as we saw earlier, our backups are located in either snapshots or in the backup repositories. Now we'll notice when we look at snapshots, if we right click on these, we can only restore these to the environment that they're actually in. So for example, here we have some snapshots of EC2 instances. We can only restore these to Amazon EC2. However, if we look at our backups in our external backup repositories, we can actually restore these workloads to other platforms. So with the integration of Veeam Backup and Replication and protecting your cloud workloads, you can actually restore your EC2 instances over to Microsoft Azure, or you can do an instant recovery to vSphere. You can restore any backup from any platform to any other supported platform. So for instance, you could even take a backup of a Windows 
physical machine and go and restore that out to Amazon EC2 as well. So it gives you a lot of capabilities. So let's say we want to restore this to EC2 and let's take a look at what our options are. Well, we can pick our restore points. So if we have lots of point in times, we can actually go and restore those. Now we have the option to either restore to the original location, so overwrite the existing instance or virtual machine, or restore to a new location. And we can even restore across accounts or resource groups, depending on which platform we're restoring to. Let's pick a London data center. That is the same location that we have this workload in. We're then presented with some configuration options for this new instance that we're creating. So we can change the instance type. We can select different types that we want all from the AWS configuration list. And we can also change our disk encryption if we have used any for our backups. We can change the name. So obviously with this being a second virtual machine, let's just give this a different name or give it an appendix of R for restore. Now we get to pick our network settings and VPC settings. So where do we want to put this? Do we want to pick a particular VPC, a particular subnet, and what security groups do we want to use? So this is pre-populated, so everything that you have created in AWS allows you to pick and choose what you want in this. We simply say next, give it a reason, and then finish. Now we will run and perform our restore of this workload in Amazon AWS. Now we see that that restore has completed successfully and it didn't take very long either, which is quite a bonus when you're trying to perform restores. So within this demonstration, we've seen how easy it is to manage all your different platforms globally, regardless of what workload type you're running. Also how easy it is to monitor and look at the status of your backups and also how quick and easy it is to do the restores. How great was that? You saw in that demonstration how easy it is to protect your cloud workloads natively through Veeam backup and replication. For more information, go to veeam.com and download a free trial of Veeam backup and replication. Thank you for watching.